December 2019, the new coronavirus spread all around the world. At the beginning, most of the cases were reported from mainland China. But now, more and more cases are reported outside China. Not only in China, same in South Korea, Singapore, the numbers keep decreasing. What these countries did differently? I will show you in my today's vlog from Shanghai, China. Hi guys, it's Natya from Shanghai. And today I want to show you our daily life in Shanghai. We wanted to go outside to get more vitamin D. But there is issue, the garden which we went to is closed. Unfortunately, we have to change our plans, so let's go. I want to update on the measures Shanghai is still using to contain the virus. All gates to our apartment were closed, only one gate is open. Where the security always check our temperature when we enter or go outside of our apartment. Temperature is also checked as we enter our shopping malls, the subway and most of the restaurants. The Shanghai Metro stick the QR code on windows of every wagon. After we scan the code, we were asked to fill the phone number. And then if the sick person was in the same metro as you, you will get notice. So now we are changing our metro and we are going to different place in Shanghai and in here in this metro station there is no one, absolutely no one it's a little bit scary but it's alright <laughs> I mean because we are on the almost village part of the city so there are not many people taking metro anyway so let's go and see what we can do in Shanghai because there is almost nothing to do If you are wondering where we went after we could not enter the garden First, we went to nearby shopping mall. The shopping malls are all open right now. Most of the restaurants are still closed, but you can take take away with yourself. And few are opening. Maybe two weeks before they started to open, but they still keep checking your temperature. So. It's pretty strict, that's quite sucks, but we can understand why. Later we went to get cocoa bubble tea, my favorite bubble tea. The shop made great actions to protect its workers. We cannot enter the store, but we still can buy our milk tea, which is great. But we have to scan QR code and buy it this way. After we went to this small Guangdong restaurant and let's show you how I protect myself. Before eating I wash my hands and phone with antibacterial spray. I order noodles and french fries with milk pudding. To protect myself I ate my french fries with chopsticks. This is not how usually I eat my french fries, don't worry guys, I'm not crazy. <laughs> now we are inside of this super fancy shopping mall. It sucks, even robot is scared of us, it knows humans carry coronavirus. But it's very pretty here, there are many expensive boutiques. So we went to very expensive shopping mall, maybe I can afford this rock, nothing else. In 
Shanghai, everyone is still wearing masks. Wearing masks is mandatory. I know in many countries, governments don't recommend wearing masks, mostly because of the shortage of them. But because the virus spreads by droplets, wearing a mask helps a lot with containing the virus. Also, in China, you cannot enter any shop, any shopping mall, subway, nothing when you don't have your mask on. You have to wear it all the time. Only when you are eating, this is the only one excuse not to wear it. After we went home, the apartments don't let anyone from outside to enter inside. Same with packages, they are all put in one room outside and they do not let delivery to enter our apartment. As you could see, they just check my temperature and usually they also check this pink paper. It's for if you got resident permit in this block. But today they were maybe lazy, they didn't check <laughs> because they checked me way too many times. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya, bye! <laughs> 不文明。